So you're ready to move to Atlanta. Even better, you found an apartment that only charges $650 a month. You pack the duffel bag and you're ready to leave your city. But before you jump on a plane, let's make sure you're not moving to one of these six worst areas in Atlanta. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. Number six is Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain is where the Ku Klux Klan was born. Although that is hardly your problem anymore because most of the racist people are a bunch of frail meth heads with no influence over themselves, let alone anyone else. In 2020 though, crime is the problem. With a crime rate of 43 per 1,000 residents, Stone Mountain has one of the highest crime rates in America. Your chances of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime is 1 in 23. It's still possible to lock up with a cool area in Stone Mountain, but that's until you're ready to move up. I suggest you avoid anything along Hairston Road and Tree Hill. Number 5, East Atlanta. Flat Shoals turns into Boulder Crush Road, but it doesn't matter that the street changes names because it's still the same. If you're anywhere between the East Side Church and Faith Covenant Church, may God be with you. One of the rules of thumb to know if you hit the wrong neighborhood, and this may sound counterintuitive, but the more cars you see parked outside of people's homes, when you know that there's no function, you need to get back on the highway. Steer clear if there are three or more parked cars in front of houses on the street. I'll explain my theory on that a little later, but also look for bad car paint jobs, obvious aftermarket parts, and parked in the grass instead of the driveway. Number four is Clayton County. I guess you could say the same thing about all counties in Atlanta, but Clayton County really has two different kinds of streets. Clayco has a lot of really nice areas and some streets with million dollar homes. But if you don't have direct directions to where you're going, you may get caught in a part of town surrounded by people that you wish you would have never met. Well, maybe I should take that back because if you're a gangster and you're coming down here to get in the middle of some fuck shit, this will be the perfect place to be. Now make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can pick up my ebook on how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, make sure you press subscribe and ring the bell. Number three is College Park. There is one area in Collie Park that you want to avoid. Princeton Drive between McDonald Street and Cox Court. Freaks will be everywhere looking to see how they can get over on you. There's a running joke that the HBO show The Wire wasn't really a scripted show about Baltimore. And it was actually a documentary. <laughs> but if you run into the wrong areas in College Park, you'll think that The Walking Dead is also a documentary about Atlanta. Random people will be walking down the street looking like real life walkers. I'm sure it's from drug issues, which I don't want to make fun of because we know drug issues arise in communities with government distributed poverty and mental health issues. Number two is the Bluffs. The intersection of Jet Street and North Avenue Northwest is the epicenter of where the ultimate ghetto Snow in the Bluffs movie was filmed. The movie makes you think everything was captured with a stolen camcorder and nothing was scripted. I doubt it. But if that movie was the first time you saw Atlanta, I'm sure you have no desires to live in Atlanta. Even more puzzling is the fact that the Bluffs and other rough neighborhoods around it is very close to all the well-known Atlanta HBCUs like Spelman and Clark. But I know for a fact that there's a hood in every city in America, and this just happens to be Atlanta's more famous hood. So stay away from Jet Street and North Avenue and about five blocks going in any direction from there. <laughs> Number one, Douglas County. Douglas County is where dreams go to die. The homes and apartments in Douglasville and the entire Douglas County in general are very cheap. But that's how they get you. You're going to have to stay on high alert. But even after being super careful, you probably still will become a victim to this little trash town. 
the police department is running a racket. It would be almost like you are already living in jail and the beat cops are just wardens riding around the city trying to find an excuse to arrest you. They are not above instigating an entire conflict so they can do their best to destroy your life and drain all of your resources. I truly think this county would financially collapse if law enforcement stopped this racket. Everyone in power is in on it too, from the cops, the probation officers, the judges, the parole officers, and the bail bondsmen are anxiously awaiting their next victim. You, stay as far away from Douglas County as you can. <laughs> now, is there any parts of Atlanta that I missed? Use the comment section below and tell me about it. I love reading and responding to you. I hope I didn't give you the entirely wrong impression about Atlanta. As you can see in my two earlier videos that I'm linking above about my experience in Atlanta, I love it. The neighborhoods I mentioned above is not what most people will ever have to experience when coming in from out of town. These places are just mainly poor in general. After traveling around the world, I could tell you for a fact that everywhere where there are poor people, even if they're black, Spanish, white, or Asian, there's going to be issues. The cliche Pookie and Ray Ray have identical twins named Preston with the trench coat, Loco Javier, and Crazy Chin. So don't give Atlanta a hard time because of certain neighborhoods because it's really a good deal. Now I would love to meet you guys this week in Atlanta. Using a combination of planet marketing and teletravel is the best way to produce an outstanding income while traveling. You can work from home, full time or part time after your day job. If you love to travel, trust me, this is a no brainer. I will be in Atlanta this Tuesday. Come meet me and the team on Tuesday at 7 p.m. using the flyer that I'm linking above. It's just an information session and no pressure for you to get involved. And if you want to just take a trip to one of the laps of luxuries that I've shown, click this link above. And my free ebook is also at PassportKings.com. Atlanta can be great, but if you're in the wrong neighborhood, it can be terrible. Make sure you have enough money saved up before you move down here so you'll have options for a great experience. And then when you move to Atlanta, you'll be set up like a king. A passport king. Peace.